Good day, learners! Welcome to GE115 Map Projection. This is Sir Arns, your instructor for this course. Before we are going to start our classes, let me have first the class orientation. This is for the authors and contributors that this material was prepared and contributed by yours truly. And for the copyright notice, it is important that the PowerPoint file shall never be distributed to other parties. Only a PDF file shall be distributed to the students of this course only. The distribution of this PDF to other parties except the students should have prior permission or authorization of authors and contributors and of course for the Department of Geodetic Engineering of Caraga State University. And now let's go to the course description and details. G115 Map Projections covers the principles and mathematical concepts of map projections, datums, coordinates transformation, and reference systems. It also tackles about the Philippine Reference Systems of 1992 or PRS 92 and its transformation parameters. It has three units that consist of two units lecture and one unit laboratory. For the course outcomes, expectedly, upon the completion of this course, you, the student, must have explained the concepts and principles of datums and map projections and its various types and characteristics. Explain why specific datum, map projection, and grid systems are adapted for various mapping situations. Transform coordinates from one map projection into coordinates of a different map projection through both manual computations and with the aid of the GIS or coordinate conversion software. Specify the datum, map projection, and grid system parameters of a spatial dataset using GIS software. Explain the historical background, mathematical concepts, transformation parameters, features and uses of the Philippine Plane Coordinate System Transverse Mercator or PPCS-TM Philippine Reference System of 1992 as the official reference system for all surveys and maps in the country. And lastly, perform coordinates geographic and grid coordinates conversion from WGS84 to the PRS92 reference systems and vice versa. And now let's go to the course outline. Topic 1 is all about introduction to map projections that consist of the general concepts, coordinates and coordinate systems, datums and ellipsoids, the map projection processes, characteristics of map projection, scale variation and angular distortions, classification and selection of map projections. In Topic 2, we are going to discuss about cylindrical map projections. We have Mercator Projection, Transverse Mercator Projection, the Universal Transverse Mercator or UTM Projection, Oblique Mercator, Cylindrical Equal Area, Miller Cylindrical, Equidistant Cylindrical, and Cassini Projection. And for Topic 3, it's all about Conic Map Projections. We have Albers Equal Area, Lambert Conformal Conic, Equidistant Conic, Bipolar Oblique Conic Conformal, Polyconic, and bony. And in topic 4, we are going to discuss azimuthal and other map projections. We are going to discuss orthographic, stereographic, mnemonic, general perspective, numbered azimuthal equal area, azimuthal equidistant, modified stereographic conformal, and other map projections such as space map projections and pseudo-cylindrical map projections. And for Topic 5, is all about the Philippine Reference System of 1992, which covers about the historical background, mathematical origins, the Luzon 1911 datums and its ellipsoids, features and uses, official PRS-92 transformation parameters. The Topic 6 tackles about the Philippine Plane Coordinate System or PPCS, or also known as the Philippine Transverse Mercator PTM. 
And now, I'm going to give you the list of textbooks and references. We have Cinder, number year 2007, DNR 1998 or Down 1998 12, and the Bureau of Lands 1975 Technical Bulletin number 26. Now, let's discuss the new normal mode of instruction. I assume that all of you are oriented about the CSU Learning Management System or CSU LMS. So, below is the screenshot of our subject GE115 Map Projection in Masao LMS. For my class policies, Attendance, of course. Kay online man ta, attendance will not be checked. All you need to do is to participate on the Moodle, especially on the forums and question and answers, etc. Check always on your Moodle account for the course update. Speaking of deadlines, you are given enough time to comply every course requirements. For example, I have given you 5 days to take the quiz. Be sure that within that 5 days, you can take the quiz or else you get a zero for that quiz. Submit your course requirements on the set deadlines in the Moodle. And of course, late submission will not be tolerated. Remember that those course requirements that I am going to require you are only the basis of your grades at the end of the semester. For grades, INC is given to a student whose class is standing throughout the semester is passing but fails to appear for a final examination or complete all requirements for a course due to a valid reason. And a grade of 4, conditional failure is given to a student whose general average is below 60 to 55%. A grade of 4 can be removed through a removal exam given by the instructor, which must be taken before the deadline of the submission of your grades. A grade of 3 will be given to a student who passed the removal exam, otherwise, a grade of 5 will be given. So sir, wala may kwatro nga grado. So again, ihatag na siya for conditional failure. You are given last chance, which is the removal exam. And again, we, the faculty members of Caraga State University, will not tolerate academic dishonesty. Plagiarism will also not be tolerated, and any student who has been found to have participated in any academic dishonesty will receive 5 grade in your course and may be subject to further disciplinary action. These are the list of the academic dishonesty from the Student Code of Conduct. First is academic fraud, pagpanglimbong, copying or allowing one's work to be copied, fabrication or falsification, sabotage, and lastly, substitution or example, taking an exam for someone else. I'm going to remind you the teacher-student rules. So these are my expected rules and responsibilities. First is to teach you the lessons and to make sure that you have understood. Motivate the students like you. Provide learning materials such as this one. Guide you during the conduct of online class activities including laboratory exercises. Provide consultation hours and my consultation hours will be flashed on the last slide of this material. Conduct, implement various measures to test your knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation of the topics that we have been discussed, such as quizzes, oral recitation, seat works, reports, exam, and etc. And lastly, I'm going to keep accurate records of your performance. And these are your rules and responsibilities. This is very important. First, is study well and perform to the best of your ability. Submit all the course requirements in a timely manner. And lastly, to learn what is required. In terms of classes, Caraga State University still abides and implements no face-to-face -face classes. 
means to say, all classes should be done online, like online lecture, online quiz, online assignment, online submission of activities, and etc. For our laboratory exercises, it should be done after all the lectures, except for those laboratory that can be done at home. We will still wait for the instruction from the Paraga State University if the face-to-face -face classes is okay and will be pursued. For my announcement, I have allotted a tab in the Mass of LMS for all the announcement in this subject, like for this one. I have posted it last September 3, 2020. So from time to time, you are going to update your Mass of LMS for you to become updated in this course. Also, you can visit at my Facebook page for Moodle updates and course announcement, Department of Genetic Engineering updates, course queries, and etc. So diri, diri ko mag-post if ever uh, nag-post na ko sa Moodle of Activity or na ako i-update sa Moodle. So para, ang tanan is maka-access. And also, this serve as a consultation for all your concern. So, please free to message this page for all your queries or kung na yung mga pangutana, mga kalibugan sa course or na mo kalisdan or any queries about the department. So, pwede kaayo siya. In terms of grading system, here is the criteria for grading. We have major examinations, 50% which consists of midterms and finals, assignment and quizzes, 20%, laboratory outputs, 15%, and laboratory reports, 15%, a total of 100%. Please take note that this grading system will be changed from time to time due to the current situation that we have experienced right now. Please stay tuned of my announcement regarding the changes of this grading system. For my consultation, it will be done through my Facebook page. Pwede mo mag-message dito if nag mo sa topic or wala mo ka-catch up dayon. So, just beat me and I'm going to respond. Again, if you have questions and queries, you can freely message me through my Facebook page, Engineer Arnaldo Sintino Gagula, to cater your questions and concerns. Keep safe, everyone! and see you in our next video.